Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range. It's raining, so today's episode is a low budget talk fest designed to annoy everyone. So, all fanboys should seek out their safe spaces and grab tight hold of their blankies, because no one's coming out of this unscathed. Not even me. So, the Enfields, eh? Fussy with their beddings, always breaking extractor springs, and with magazine lips that bend if you even look at them funny. AR-15s. Drastic plastic that goes sploing when you shoot it, but I guess you can hang a lot of expensive tactic crap off it. M1 Garand. Who the heck thought it was a good idea to design a rifle that got loose in the stock just from taking it apart to clean it? So, Mauser 98s. Great hunting action. What's it doing in a military stock? M1As. See M1 Garand. Must be great fun having to take your expensive match rifle to the gunsmith to be re-bedded every couple of hundred rounds, eh? Martini Henry. Who do I ask for my shoulder back? Ah, the SA-80. Who thought it was a good idea to shove an AR-18 up the arse of an EM-2 and then give it to the Muppets at Enfield to design out all the bits that made the AR-18 run? HKG-3 I'm not sure whether to plough a field with it or to shoot with it. It's a bit of agricultural machinery with controls you can hardly reach. FN Fal. Everyone knows that the British version is God's own rifle. But why did he put the sights on two different bits and then have it get loose in the hinge? Ah, the AK. Because shooting small groups is just unoperator. 1903 Springfield. A rifle that needs an armourer's attention after too much manual of arms drill. And with sights that seem to have been designed by a trigonometry genius. Or with a teensy tiny little peep sight where the hole is just too small to be of any use. Schmidt Rubens, the local boys on the list. I always thought a Swiss watch was meant to be worn on the wrist. Not shot with. Only the Swiss could have come up with them, really. Mass 36. Are there even Mass 36 fanboys? If so, what did you do wrong in a previous life to deserve that? Man lickers. Well, man liquor. Enough said. I bet you can't look at your rifle the same way after that. Arasakas. Who knew a stick for hanging a bayonet off needed anti aircraft sights? Ah, Zilebel. Do you stand to attention and sing the Marseillaise before your petit déjeuner every morning? I mean, tube magazine? A tube magazine? Really? Ah, uh, Mosin Nagants. They're cheap, I guess that's one thing. That sort of makes them the ten dollar hooker of the surplus rifle world though. And they're probably carrying just as many nasty diseases. SKS. I guess that's an acronym from Russian for can't hit crap. Steyr AUG. I had one of those once, made by Bosch, I think, but then the hammer draw function broke, so I had to throw it away. And the Tabor, because accidentally dropping your magazine on the floor isn't just for the old SA-80s. So, I hope you've all been feeling the love today. Did I miss anyone out? If so, leave a message in the comments below. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to go inside and dry the equipment off, and I hope to see you again on the range sometime soon. Bye!